everyone. It's Michelle. I'm back. I got new equipment. I got a new tripod that I think is going to work. I'm not using the software that messed me up last time. You guys would have been so awesome last video. I'm so heartbroken. I did this awesome painting, gave a bunch of pearls of wisdom on how to do it and what the products are how it relates to stress management and anxiety and how it all ties in. I, you know, I hate to sound like I'm conceited, but for the first time ever doing a video, I think I kind of rocked it and it didn't record. I totally lost it. New products, don't know what I'm doing and I did well and poof, all gone. I did post what was left after I pushed the stop button I thought was a stop button. It was not. It's the start button. So, none of that app anymore. Now I'm trying just the regular old camera on the phone. Just so you know, this is what we missed. This beautiful thing right here. Can't really see the light. Let's see. I have this ring light here that I think I put in another video. Looks more needs more light. Let's see maybe some of the gold. Yeah, you can't really see. It's kind of dark. But anyway. We'll put that there for some light, but yeah, it's freaking I liked it except for this little black spot here I don't know I'm not in love with that but you know you just got to go with it you try to correct it which I did here it messes it up when I first started this pouring thing I thought hey you know it's an easy way to do abstract to let go and exercise in freedom yeah I think I need more exercise anyway it's harder than it looks moving on got this in the shipped to me about the same time I got the new tripod I've been wanting to do this it's a sink strainer I got on Amazon and I am going to put that there never done this before don't know what I'm doing just started just so you know if you want to try it at home you're not alone don't know if this is gonna work out or not you're along the ride with me your guess is as good as mine all right so just so you know i just spilt all of my silver paint down here <laughs> so we're off to a good start yes so here we go i'm just gonna go for it and i can always paint over it you can always pour over another pour that you didn't like all right so i I'm going to show you probably just how disorganized I am when it comes to this. But it's an experiment. Experiments aren't supposed to be organized, right? It's only when you know what you're doing. That's when you organize. But anyway, when I see everybody do a dirty cup into the strainer. And they get some really cool effects. I think I'm going to try something different. And... I'm going to try pouring each color directly in and kind of not transmute it. Um, I also saw somebody do, instead of paint on the corners to let it free flow, they did some, some flow trawl so that it doesn't affect the colors. So I'm going to pour some floor, flow trawl directly on there. that it flows to the corners a little bit easily and we're gonna just somehow it just never kind of makes it to the corners in the bottom here especially when you don't have enough paint which I was careful to make more paint but now I just spilled some so <laughs> what you get for doing it on the ground but I do not have a table in here you guys 
and the craft room I did put together to, is also a home office because I am a medical coder. And so right now it's got a big desktop computer in the way, so I can't use that really. So I'm making do here, which any moms probably know is spill bait. Alrighty. Now, here we go. This is metallic black artist loft. I really want a black border. So I think I'm gonna make up for the silver with black. chunks here. It's not coming out. Okay. And that is metallic black. Then we're going to phase into flat black, Mars black from Liquitex. Now I mix this a little thick than I usually do because I kind of want the design to stay structured. Usually you mix two parts Fotrol to one part paint around there. Um, everybody's got their favorite mix, but I'm making it a little bit thicker, kind of keep its form. So again, that's metallic black, Mars black. And then we will fade into, let's see, we will do some unbleached titanium from Artist Loft just to break up the, the black, just a thin coat here. And then we'll go into gray. And then more black. The reason why I picked these colors is because it's what my apartment is. It's it's a, a dark gray, a silver, brown carpet, which I didn't pick, and the walls are kind of unbleached titanium. So I was hoping to get a piece that would go with my decor here. So. And for you Raiders fans, it's pretty darn close to the Raiders color, so it's just a bonus. Go Raiders. Okay, now I want to fade into, this is a mixture of burnt sienna, which I already had in there, and then I added some what is it? burnt umber in there, because the carpet's kind of a, a mix, so I wanted to show up, I didn't want it to be that close to black. Unbleached titanium. And then I have some Artist Loft Copper. Looks kind of like the brown, so that's why I'm showing you. Some metallic 
interest in there. Didn't want it to blend into the brown. I think I might have mixed this too thick. But you know, it's a learning experience. So I figured why not bring you along for the ride? You learn while I learn. Deal? All right. We are gonna go black back to let's do some more unbleached titanium. It's kind of like a puddle pour, but in a colander, I guess. Instead of a dirty cup pour, which most I see a lot of people doing. So this is the metallic black. It's my favorite, I would say color, but it's not a color if you took any art classes. It's the, uh, it's all the colors together make black. The absence of color makes white, so my favorite color non-color I guess or actually color all color all right now we'll go back to the Mars black more of the unbleached titanium because you know black kind of takes over and I've been putting a lot of black in here or two black so I might have to add white, especially after I spill everything. I might do that right now. Excuse my reach. I just happen to have some mixed. Pre-mixed, yay for pre-mix. I hear you really don't want to stretch these. And I'm doing all this to keep the form of these rings. Okay. Some more silver. Just a tad. Gray. As you see, it's kind of going this way more than this way. That's usually a sign that sitting on top of this little baking thing, it is unlevel. Just so you know why it's doing that. So it's going to change the design. A lot of people pour the perfect design and then let it dry and walk away. And then they're disheartened when they uh, go to check on it because they didn't know it wasn't level and it changes totally. Okay, now we're gonna do that two brown mixture. white
over. Let's get it back going the right way. Tilt it very slowly. And if you know, when you think you're messing up like this, I'm, I'm worried about it not being level and it going to that side. A lot of you look into graphic design principles. Things are divided in threes and it adds more interest when it's not centered. So it might turn out better than, oh, like Bob Ross says, happy accidents. And me being a non-conformist, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I have watched videos. Yes, I have. I'm grateful for everybody's, my experience from everybody else. I take it, I learn from it, and then I adapt it to mine. Or I mess it up and it ends up being mine. Either way, you don't have to tell people that it was a mess up. The beauty in art is you just say, I meant to do that. And they think you're a genius another therapeutic thing about art besides being in the moment and forgetting your troubles you can make it however you want it it's it's kind of if you're not in having trouble with your reality you can bend it the way you want you make it up you make the rules and there's nowhere in life usually that as an adult you can except for with children I don't have any that you could do that so I have art for that. Let's see. I usually laugh at people that do this. Start, stop, start, stop. And here I am doing it. Root for me, people. Root for me, that'll turn out cool. I need the, I need the success, believe me. Another way it's therapeutic when things don't go right in your real life. Either you learn to let go by doing this, or you can make it go right by doing something else. This is more abstract, so it's a lesson in letting go and letting it do its thing. A more uh, realistic paintings are more controlling it if you need to control. If you like this or you have any suggestions of something else to I could do or do differently next time comment down below in the comments and like it thumbs up if you like it like share subscribe that helps this channel so you can see more of my mishaps you can feel good that I'm just like you all these people, they edit their videos and they seem like they can do no wrong. And it makes you sometimes feel inadequate, you know? Like the models and magazines that are airbrushed and photoshopped. Well, here I am. Real. Hopefully you can relate to that and think, hey, you know, maybe, maybe I could do it too. Like I said, I'm new at this particular medium. I have drawn like pretty much my whole life ever since my cousins, my cousin Shilo and my uncle George would draw and I was just so envious and thought they were so cool and wanted to learn how to do it. And as soon as I could get into any kind of art classes and 
grade school and I just enjoyed it so much. And I learned and I eventually became an art aide. And uh, I took all the art classes and I could in high school and they made me an art aide because I <laughs> pretty much could teach it myself almost. And then when I went to college, I took a, a couple classes, thought about doing a double major, but you know, I could afford that. I couldn't. I always thought if I won the lottery, I would like to go back to school, take arts and get my doctorate. And all those people that would, you know, oh, she's blonde or, oh, she's dumb, you know, stereotypes. Make them call me doctor <laughs> in art. I just would love that. No, I'm not that type. I wouldn't. <laughs> I just thought it's funny. Alrighty. It's kind of doing its own thing. And I kind of like it here. I'm kind of not going in any planned order towards the end here while I'm talking. And maybe that's going to make it turn out better. Sometimes when you plan something that's abstract, sometimes you just got to let go. I'm like drawing from the right side of the brain. One of my favorite art books. Sometimes you gotta use your subconscious or your different part of you to get your product or your piece to look the way you want it or better than the way you want it. Okay, well I think that's about all the paint I have here. So... Mm, no, I don't want more black. Do I? What do you think? Oh, why don't just a tad more? Never enough black, right? It's kind of like jello. Being new to this, I saw people run out of paint, so I kind of a little paint generous probably here. It's just so pretty. I don't want to stretch it. What do we do, people? <laughs> and as typical, I forgot to put on gloves. So... <laughs> Now, what they usually do is kind of let it set into its thing. As you see, there's cells here that some people think is the ultimate judge of a good painting. But, you know, sometimes, no. And uh, also, they torch it a lot. And I, I find that sometimes torching it kind of makes it move and blend into each other. And the design kind of goes away. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'll do it from way far up, maybe. But, you know, touching it's kind of cool, so. It's like a flambe. Uh-oh. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about it being too strong. I'm burning my canvas. I just put juice in it. There we go. All right, I guess that means enough. Sometimes, you know, things are just guided. Now we tilt it. And people always say return it to center, so I'm getting it to center to begin with here. The key to doing this is slow, do it slow. Do it slowly. Don't tilt it too much. Back. This is what usually takes the most time. This and mixing it. That's why I didn't film my mixing. All these cups. Floetrol. And 
add more paint and add more Floetrol and add water just to get the right consistency. But it takes time and it's boring. I didn't. think that that would be something that you guys would be interested in but if it is comment down below <laughs> comment down below if there's anything that you would like to see or not see or just let me know also what I could do is I could drag a skewer through this and have little tendrils or I could use a straw and blow there's lots of things I could do. So much of this is not going out here. Let's help it. Hmm. Back to center. There's plenty of paint here, it's just kind of dragging its little paint feet. Kind of losing its design, that's sad. Really thought the flow troll instead of paint would make it slightly easier so I wouldn't do this. It's really hard to watch on the screen to make sure I'm in the frame on trying not to mess this up so I apologize I'm out of frame new to it all maybe I could add a little bit more black in the corner here of course this is how I got in trouble last time with the painting I showed you that hey Looks like the flow troll dried while I was messing around. And that's what's going on here. Yeah, that's what happened. Note to self quit your talking and get to business. down to business. Okay, well, you know, leave it the way it is. This is kind of disshaping, but hey. So, there we have it. My first strainer pour with colors to go with my apartment. My first video. I know I'm going to manage to get up and get it correct on YouTube <laughs> the right way. So, anyway, while I clean this up, my hands here always always people use gloves when you remember so 
You don't have to do this. You don't want paint all over your camera or your flow troll. <laughs> you could just peel off your gloves if you were to wear them, but hey, I didn't. So anyway, there we have it. You could option is you can do another once over with this to add interest. Don't get it too close. Isn't that fun? Putting fire. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you like this video. And uh, see you next time. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.